MixOS is a distribution that has gained a lot of traction recently. You might have even heard of it referred to as a quote unquote new Arch Linux. But how is it different from any other distro? And what benefits do I get from switching to it, you might ask? I'm going to answer these and other questions that a MixOS beginner should know before getting started. I've been using this beast for around half a year now, and I must say that it is absolutely mind blowing. Here I have compiled a small list of terms that you might want to know about NixOS so you can justify your mindless distro hopping. But in all honesty, those are some pretty good reasons to switch. They include declarativity, immutability, reproducibility, and unbreakability. We are going to talk about them now. My favorite out of all of them is declarativity. Usually when you use any desktop operating system, you configure it in an imperative way. This means that you slowly change your system chaotically until you are satisfied with the result. NixOS takes an approach more similar to your dot files, but applies it to whole system. You declare packages, systemd services, hardware settings and drivers directly in the configuration file, and then rebuild the system. This means that you don't have to remember what changes you did and go bother people on the forums about your broken desktop. Declarative approach also means that you can easily pull your configuration on another computer and practically get the same system wherever you go. With some minor tweaks and adjustments, you can even manage a whole fleet of systems without worrying that one will lag behind. However, for a Linux desktop enthusiast like me, it means that my whole two computers will have the same version of Vim. Because of how NixOS is managed, no longer you need to worry about your system breaking. Each time you rebuild, you get a fresh new build with only the stuff you declared. All other system versions stay on your drive until you explicitly remove them, and can be accessed while your computer is loading in Grub or Systemd boot. What this means is if you were to accidentally remove some important stuff from your configuration, or just if new versions of packages are incompatible with your hardware, you can go back to previous build until the problem gets resolved on its own or if you fix it. For me it was a breath of fresh air, as my previous Arch Linux system, although being quite stable, would sometimes cause inconveniences after updates. With NixOS I'm not afraid to put it on my work machine, because I know that it will never fail me. Now in the background you can see NixOS installation process. Here the calamaris is used for selecting your preferred desktop environment, keyboard layout and partition locations. But keep in mind that all of this is very trivial to change later in configuration file. And like other distros, you can go between KDE and GNOME every 5 minutes if you like, and you will not suffer from both DEs trying to override each other's settings. Also make sure to enable swap file and tick the unfree software option. Installation requires network connection, so also keep that in mind, and during the final step it might get stuck on exactly 46% like I've had here, but it's nothing to worry about, just wait. So now I am going to show you how do you actually modify your NixOS. For this you are gonna open a terminal. This virtual machine has GNOME so I am going to open GNOME terminal. And you have to navigate into slash etsy slash nixos with following command. And if we write ls, as you can see there are two files, configuration.nix and hardware configuration.nix. Nix is a package manager, operating system, and also a uh, language. So this is pretty weird, but uh, for purposes of this video, you can just think of .nix extension as a JSON file with some minor additions like functions. So if we open it with sudo edit, because it is located in Etsy, we are gonna see that we have nano by default. And uh, this here is uh, parameters for our operating system, you do not have to think much of them. And uh, down here is the operating system configuration itself. Here you can see time zone that we defined in the beginning with Calamaris. And if we scroll down, uh, X server is here. Here services.printing.enable enables the cups service, pretty good. Also sound. 
So everything that you would need on a standard desktop operating system you already have defined here. But what we want to check right now is here, environment.systempackages. Unlike Ubuntu or Arch Linux, you do not have to use apt or uh, pacman to install packages. You just define them here. So for example, for me, I want to uncomment this theme here. You're also going to have it here. The developers put it there. And also I added here before LF. So those two packages that I want to install, I'm going to click Control O to write and then Control X to exit. Now with sudo nixos rebuild switch, I'm going to apply the new configuration of the system. Here, as you can see, it was successfully replaced. And if I write Vim, as you can see, everything works. I'm actually in the Vim text editor. And if we were to check LF, as you can see, it also works. So everything is perfect. Everything is fine. The system is updated to the newest version. And now in our bootloader, we are going to see a new entry appear, which is the new version of the system before we had first one, now we will have two of them and you are going to automatically switch to the second one after reloading with switch. To find out which packages are actually available for NixOS, navigate to this amazing site right here, search.nixos.org, the link is going to be in the description. And as you can see, there are over 80,000 packages available for Linux, some even for macOS Darwin. Keep in mind that even after rebuilding your system, your packages will not update their versions because they are actually tied to a channel and channel needs to be updated separately. Updating channel separately kind of goes against NixOS declarative way. So if you want to go and dive deep into the NixOS rabbit hole, I advise you to sooner or later check uh, NixFlakes, which fix this problem. The command that updates your Nix channel version is going to be in the description as well as the link to this website. Now to sum up, I think NixOS is an amazing distribution and we have not even covered a fraction of its advantages. If you want to see a video about going deeper into configuring it, about NixFlakes or even making a declarative programming environments, let me know. So like and subscribe to the channel and maybe I will not abandon it for another year.